We're going to take a look at the characteristics of graphs for increasing and decreasing intervals as well as positive and negative intervals. We read a graph like we read a sentence. So we read it from left to right, just like we do in English. Increasing means the value of y increases when you read it from left to right. And then, in contrast, decreasing is if the value of y decreases reading from left to right. So if we take a look at this graph, even though both arrows are pointed down, if we read from left to right, this is increasing. Here's a point where it changes direction, and that is our maximum. It's our global or absolute maximum in this case and then it goes to decreasing. From left to right, the point where it changes direction is the maximum, and it increases, then decreases. Positive is if the y values are above the x-axis, and negative is if the y values are below the x-axis. The x-axis is our zero line. So if we take a look at this graph, above, is positive and below the x-axis is negative. What separates these are the x-intercepts here. So in what intervals is this function increasing? I see that it's increasing in two places. This is from negative 8 to negative 5. If I'm looking at the x values from negative 8 to negative 5, the parentheses are open because an actual point cannot be increasing or decreasing, so that is why it is open parentheses. The next one is here, and that goes from negative 3 to positive 3. If you look at the values of the x-axis, it's increasing from negative 8 to negative 5, and then again from negative 3 to 3. You might see sometimes people write this with a union, a u, in between the intervals. It's also decreasing on two intervals. Here, it's decreasing from negative 5 to negative 3, and then again from 3 to 6. Once again, at a particular point, it cannot be neither increasing nor decreasing, so these are open parentheses. In regards to positive, this function is positive all throughout here. At the x-intercept itself of negative 2, 0, it's 0, so it's not positive nor negative. So when we look at from left to right, this is positive from negative 2 all the way to infinity. You can never touch infinity, so it's an open parentheses. For negative, the value negative 7, negative 5, at x equals negative 7, it is actually in the negative region. So we have negative 7 all the way to negative 2. At negative 7, it's included the hard bracket because it's negative. And negative 2, it's 0, so it's not included. It's all the way up until negative 2. That is why this bracket is there. It's in the negative region. It's included. Good luck on your quick checks. If you have any questions, let your teacher know.